Story Monster Press presents Marky the Magnificent Fairy by Cynthia Kern O'Brien Illustrated by Jeff Yesh There once was a woodland fairy named Marky. She was a magnificent little fairy. During the day, Marky liked to play in the woods with her friends. At night, she loved watching the fireflies dance above her head as she fell asleep. Marky couldn't fly like the other fairies. Why? One of her wings was very small. That made her different from other fairies in the woods. But Marky loved her small wing. She thought it was beautiful. Marky was a magnificent little fairy. Sometimes the other woodland creatures would make fun of her. They would laugh at her small wing or say mean things about the color of her hair. Some even teased her about her freckles. They whispered and pointed because she wore glasses. Is her hair on fire? Is she blind as a bat? What are those spots all over her face? That really hurt Marky's feelings. (laughs) Her wing is so tiny. But Marky was fearless. She marched right up to the woodland creatures and proclaimed, I'm not that different from you. Marky might not be able to fly, but she could do lots of other things. She could tap dance, she could draw, she could sing, she could do most anything. Marky was a magnificent little fairy. I'm more like you than you know, Marky explained. And just like you, I have hopes and dreams. Marky was going to be a fashion designer one day. She wanted to make stylish clothes for all her friends. Marky was a magnificent little fairy. There were other fairies and elves who were magnificent, just like Marky. They had exceptional qualities, some visible, some invisible, and they had hopes and dreams too. They were also kind friends. There was Marky's friend Jojo. He was unable to walk, so he sat in a wheelchair. He had an exceptional quality that was visible, but Jojo loved to read books. His dream was to be a doctor when he grew up.
Nixie was also magnificent. Her exceptional quality was invisible. She was deaf. That meant that she couldn't hear. Mixie loved to play games. Her dream was to be a dog trainer. Then there was Fancy. She was magnificent too. Her exceptional quality was loud. Sometimes she stuttered or couldn't control her movements. Fancy's dream was to be a famous singer when she grew up. Marky wanted everyone to understand that all creatures were magnificent. They had hopes and dreams. They were perfect just the way they were. And being kind was what mattered most. Marky wasn't that different from them at all. We're sorry, Marky, said the woodland creatures in unison. We shouldn't have teased you. We are just like you. We have hopes and dreams too. We want to be your friend. Marky, being a magnificent little fairy, was thrilled by their kindness. She was very happy to make new friends who understood that everyone deserves to feel accepted and loved. The End <laughs> Excellent job, readers. And as always, please remember to subscribe and smash the like button. Thank you. Want to become a better reader? Please check out our fun activity books. We also have premium composition books available now. For more information, please visit our website at itsreadingtimekids.org or visit our Amazon storefront page. Do you love music? It's Reading Time Music is now available streaming on all platforms. Thank you.